Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Akram bin Muhammad Yunus. My metric number is I21105187. So today, I want to explain about the definition of transportation. So let's listen together. Okay, transportation is the movement of people, animals and supplies from one place to another. In other words, uh, transport activity is defined as the specific movement of an organism or object from point A to point B. Transport modes include air, land, water, cables, pipelines and space. This area can be divided into infrastructure, vehicles and operations. Transport enables trade between people who are essential to the development of civilization. Transport infrastructure infrastructure consists of fixed installations including roads, railways, airways, waterways, canals, pipelines, and terminals such as airports, railway stations, bus stations, warehouses, trucking terminals, refueling depots, and seaports. Terminals may be used both for the interchange of passengers and cargo and for maintenance. Means of transport are any of the different kinds of transport facilities used to carry people or cargo. They may include vehicles, riding animals, and pack animals. Vehicles may include wagons, automobiles, bicycles, buses, trains, trucks, helicopters, watercraft, spacecraft, and aircraft. So, for my part, that's all the sharing I can present to you all. Thanks for the good listening. For the next presentation will be continued by my friend. So, stay tuned. One of the transportation that exists is air transportation. We have the fixed-wing aircraft, commonly called an airplane, and it is heavier than aircraft, where the movement of the air about the wing is used to generate lift. There are two things necessary for the aircraft, such as airflow over the wing for lift and air, an area for landing. Many aircraft also need an airport uh, with the infrastructure for maintenance, restocking, refueling, loading, and unloading crew, cargo, and passenger. In some cases, there are aircraft capable of takeoff and landing on ice, snow, and calm water. The, aircraft, the, the aircraft is the second fastest, fastest method of, of transportation after the rocket. Land transportation is also a type of uh, transport which cover all land-based transportation system that provide movement for the people, good and service. Land, trans land transportation is vital for the communities and it is the key factor in urban planning. It concludes with two kinds which are rail and road. Rail transportation is where the train run along the rail railroad or railway. It can carry a lot of weight such as metal, wood, cement and also people. The road is usually the common transportation where the people use for everyday life and they post things to their destination or use them using vehicle by people to go to the destination that has been planned. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Megat Aymanul Hakim bin Megat Suhaimi uh, Nombor metrik D21133832 Today I want to tell you guys about uh, definition of water transportation uh, Water transportation is the intentional movement of water over large distance Method of transportation fall into three categories Aqueducts, which includes pipelines, canals, tunnels, and bridges. Uh, next, uh, water transport, including road and sail vessel, date back to time immemorial and was the only efficient way to transport large quantities or over large distance prior to the industrial revolution. 
Okay, next I want to tell you guys about the type of water transportation. For the example, uh, boat, cruise ship, uh, submarine, steamboat, cargo ship, motorboat, hovercraft, sailboat, jet scooter, warship, houseboat, raft, pirate ship, boat carrier, and catamaran. That's all for you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aina Najwa Baiti Kairun Zamani. My metric number is I2020-4810. And now, I will share with you about the evolutions of transportation. Transport has over 5,000 years of history. And we should aware that every development and evolution has its own trials and challenges. And these include the evolution of transportation. Transportation also has given us a chance to increase our life efficiency. During Stone Age, we walk, swam, and floated in the rivers and seas to travel around. The invention of wheel car and river boats happened by 3500 before century. We started to tame animals and utilize them as vehicle such as horse and cow. By 2000 before century and 600 before century, we built chariots and wagon, and this witnessed the development of wheels vehicle. People started to puff their wheels to the building of the road around 312 before century. By 800 before century, we puff streets with tar for a smooth journey for all transportation. By 50th century, the sailing ships invented for more advanced technologies for water transportation, for trading and also exploration. By 60th century, we invented the horse-powered rails of wood and stone. And by 70th century, the first ever or propelled submarine was built. And now, we skip to 90th century, which has a bigger transformation of transportation. We all can see a huge development with train and car. The first bicycle also was invented in 1816 and the first aircraft glider was invented in 1953. Next, 20th century also witnessed so many advanced technology development of transportation. We begin to take a huge milestone with the inventions of many new air transportation such as airship, uh, transport aircraft named DC-3 in year 1935. We also invented a jacket rocket in 1936 and V-2 rockets by year 1942. We also expand or went beyond the humankind limit by invented spacecraft and satellite. The first man-made satellite was invented in 1957 and the first space station has launched on 1971. T minus 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Four. it's almost impossible for the main daily activities to take place without transportation. Transportation has given us so many advantages for us to pursue our life in various aspects. Now, it's our turn to use it wisely without making any harm to others. That's all from us. Thank you.